Hi, Dr. Cook. Um, I am going to show you around the first side, but first I just wanted to show you my characters that I made, and I'm going to be very quick with this because I think I have a 10 minute time limit on YouTube, so I'm going to just get right into it and we'll get this moving along. So, this is Percy Newton. Um, I gave him a very like clean cut kind of suit. I figured this is something that he would probably wear because um, he's a very classy man. I made him um, a little bit more bulkier and he has a little bit more body fat on him than Henry does because um, they referenced in the book that um, Percy was a little bit more petite than, um, sorry, no, Henry was a little bit more petite than Percy is. Um, I gave him the uh, lifetime goal is to be a super parent, makes him domestic, he's very um, virtuous, uh, he's a music lover, and um, he is family oriented, and I gave him a romantic trait as well. Um, I gave him long swirly hair, a lot of fan art that people had made gave him kind of longer swirlier hair, so that's what I decided for him. Moving on to Henry, um, I gave Henry a little bit more of a, less of a caring outfit. Um, I just feel like at this point in the book, he didn't really care that much. Uh, he wants to find a soulmate. That's his goal in life. Makes him alluring. I gave him the kleptomaniac trait for the um, giggles of the scene because he does steal the trinket box. I don't think he's a kleptomaniac throughout the whole book. I just think it's important for this scene. I also made him squeamish. He just doesn't seem as much of a kind of, um, you know, it just kind of seems like he has a little bit more of a weaker stomach than, you know, as opposed to Felicity, who likes to work with blood and surgery and stitching things. Um, and I also made him a romantic. Moving on to Felicity, I gave her the same hair color as her brother. Um, I figured hair would be a little bit longer. I gave her a side braid. Um, she's a very classy lady. I gave her a little bit more of a high neck um, as opposed to the woman that Henry will end up flirting with. Um, I made her uh, goal in life to be academic. Um, she's a quick learner, she's a bookworm, a genius, and very ambitious. And um, the Duke of Bourbon made him a little bit chubbier. He's got a little bit more cushion around his tummy. Um, I did not think of him as a very fit man. I thought of him more as a little bit of a chubby man. Um, I gave his goal knife is to be the chief of mischief. Um, he's hot headed, he's mean, and he's evil spirited. And I just felt like that fit so well with him. I did not like his character. Moving on to Emily. Now, I don't remember if the author gave um, what the author gave this woman's name. This is the woman that um, Henry ends up flirting with and going up into the apartment um, and ends up stealing a trinket box up there. I gave her Emily. I don't exactly remember what her name was. I just thought that that was a very British, proper, and very cute name. So, this is the name that I gave her um, if she was given a name. I apologize. I don't remember. She was such a small character. Um, I gave her serial romantic, so she wants to have more than one lover in her life. She just wants to date around. She doesn't really want one particular person. Uh, this gives her alluring. I gave her a clumsy tray, outgoing, and romantic. Okay, so now we're going to move on. Um, I'm going to show you the Versailles that I made, and I will say I didn't really go much into detail um, other than the apartment, the entertainment center, the dining room and the garden. Um, the other portion of the Versailles, I ran out of time. This took me three days to build. It took a lot of work, a lot of Google research. I spent a lot of time. Most of my detail oriented, my details that I went into were, were regarding the back, like the outside. Um, and um, I tried to emphasize on the chandeliers as well. So. I'm going to pause right now. I already have them set up there um, because I was trying to get them to flirt a little bit and they were not having it because, um, you know, you can't make a sim make Sims flirt with each other. You know, Henry, he loves Percy and even Sim Henry knows that. Okay, so here's the outside of the Versailles. Um, I really liked these windows. This was like the best fitting window that I could find for the Versailles. Um, so I gave all these windows around the house, um, very detailed um, as it is in the actual Versailles. And I gave this nice door, a cute little fountain in the front. And um, on the second level of the Versailles, um, I just kind of gave this as like beds and living space for the um, Sims in this um, scene. 
Um, here we have the apartment. There's a nice big bed. I gave chess for entertainment purposes over here. And then you can see Henry and Emily are set up playing cards. And over here we have a nice little book. And this is going to be the trinket. Um, it, it, it's a toddler toy. It's a cat. This is the best thing I could find in the inventory. Truly it is. Um, so this is the bathroom that I gave right next to it. Little um, clawfoot tub, nice toilet and sink. And then we move downstairs and there's a full bar dancing space. We have a pianist on the way for this party. Um, we have a guitar and um, again the chandeliers. This came with Glamour Life um, pack, the Glamour Life pack, and I just love them. I thought these were great chandeliers to use um, in the Versailles. And um, this is the dining room. I just felt like this would have a like just a over the top table, chairs. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's probably the most expensive part of this entire build. I'll tell you that. Um, here is the kitchen. We have people dining in here as the party has started. This is our chef, our caterer. Sorry that we have hired. Um, apparently, we're hiring teenagers to cater parties now, which is fine. Um, and here's a little half bath. I gave this little accent here on the wall. I thought it was really cool. And yeah, so other than that, um, we can move back to the garden. Um, I gave some rose bushes and a cute little uh, bench here, some, some detailed trees. Um, they spent a lot of money for their gardening, and I appreciate that. I didn't have much room to work with, but we managed. So let's move upstairs. Um, again, I think I only have 10 minutes, so I'm really hurrying, and I'm so sorry. Okay, so we are playing cards. Um, her back is supposed to be turned. This is just where they sat. So we're going to put this trinket in his inventory. This is his inventory or his pocket. Now we are going to have the Duke of Bourbon come up and we are going to set Felicity and um, Percy out here together. Hopefully they stay there, but um, we can get them too. I'm really hoping. Okay, so they're up here talking. Um, the Duke of Bourbon, he's on his way. He's got a drink in hand. Um, not exactly sure why he's going downstairs. You can't make Sims um, obey your every command all the time. It's very annoying. Um, maybe he'll come up if I just tell him to uh, rile up. And we're just going to create this whole scene where he's just going to come yell at him. And um, yeah, it's going to be really great. So... Let's get him up here. I'm running out of time. Everybody's coming up to see the scene. I guess we can consider these as the people that the Duke of Bourbon come up with. Um, he needs to hurry up. And maybe he's unable to because he's playing cards. Okay, so we are sending up the Duke of Bourbon. He is about to yell at Henry Montag. And he is going to say, What are you doing in my apartment? You don't belong here. And he's yelling at him. He doesn't belong up here. He's going to mock him. He's going to be just downright evil to him. These other people are really in my way. So, Henry's feeling pretty angry at this point, um, so we are going to have him change into nude, and he is going to run, hopefully they're still out here, no, they're not, well, we're going to have him run out there, because I'm running out of time. So there he goes. He's running out. He's embarrassed. He doesn't have his clothes. He needs to leave. He hates this party. And there he goes. All right. That is the end, Dr. Cook. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm so sorry it didn't work out exactly how I wanted, but thank you. And uh, it was a pleasure being your student. Bye.